military intelligence warned of the deadly coronavirus in a briefing to the government in early January. Uh, yes or no, did the Prime Minister, his office, or any member of the Cabinet see these briefings? Yes or no? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Canada as a member of the Five Eyes, as a member of NATO, as a member of NORAD, a close intelligence partner with all of those allies, very much including the United States, is privy to a great deal of intelligence. Of course, the global pandemic is an issue which has concerned our intelligence agencies and those of our partners, so we have been in close communication with them. Well, member for Carleton. Did any member of the cabinet see that intelligence from our military, yes or no? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. As I have said, Mr. Speaker, it, our intelligence sharing is very important. Our intelligence sharing with our allies during this global pandemic, which poses particularly security challenges, has been, I would say, very energetic, and we continue to work with The Honourable Member for Carleton. The question was and is, did any member of the Cabinet see that military intelligence, yes or no? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, part of the basis on which we are able to work closely with our partners, including when it comes to sharing intelligence, is sharing with Canadians only what we are able to do. Carlton. We know that the intelligence exists, and we know that the uh, military warned the government of the dangers of the coronavirus in early January. After January 22nd, how many people did this government allow into Canada from the Hubei province, the province from which the virus originated? How many? Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to border controls, our government is very aware of the importance of ensuring that people coming into the country today are subject to mandatory quarantine. That quarantine is being enforced. That includes Canadians and non-Canadians. As Canadians know as well, there are strict limits today on anyone who is not Canadian entering the country. Member for Carleton. How many people were allowed into Canada from Hubei province after, the, after this government received intelligence showing the danger of the coronavirus from our military? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we became aware that the coronavirus was indeed a threat and that there were a number of places around the world where we were receiving people who could uh, be con uh, c who could be have the contagion of the coronavirus. That is why at the border we were very clear about giving clear instructions about the need for self-isolation.